It's almost the end of another great year. What do you think year 2016? And what are you looking forward to in 2017? Welcome back, and congratulations on taking one more step towards becoming one of the great leaders of tomorrow. The holidays are coming up, it's almost the end of the year, and it's a great time to think about the successes we've had in 2016, the things we've learned, and the new adventures we'd like to embark on in 2017. So in this month's Leadership Challenge, we're going to get you set up to look at 2016 in a positive way, and to look forward to 2017 in a way that's going to help you take action. So are you ready for this month's challenge? Of course you are! And there are two parts to the challenge this month. The first is we're going to look back in a self-reflective way on 2016, and we're going to do it in a positive manner. We don't want to get trapped in the past or dwell on our failures. What we want to do is take a look at our successes and the things we learned so we can apply them in 2017. First, let's make a list of the things we've accomplished in 2016. They don't need to be big, earth-shattering, life-changing achievements, just things that we did this year that we're proud of. I'm proud of the progress I've made in my MBA program this year. I'm excited about the strategic partnerships I've made with other coaches in the area and the workshops we've put on that have really helped people. It's also nice that we've made a little bit of money doing those workshops. So no matter how big or small, whatever you've done this year, it's important to acknowledge ourselves and recognize ourselves for the achievements we've made. Next, let's make a list of the lessons we learned in 2016. These could be things about our careers, our businesses, our families, or even about ourselves. I know I learned a lot this past year, mostly about why I do some of the things I do and how it affects my relationships with the people I care about. I also learned that if I want or need something, I can't be afraid to ask for it and I need to go for it. These don't need to be huge revelations on our part. We just want to get these written down so we can capture these lessons and find ways for them to serve us in 2017. Once you're done looking back at how great 2016 was, let's talk about the things you'd like to take a shot at in 2017. These don't need to be big, grand achievements or anything that's going to change the world in a major way. Just write down some things that you're excited about doing in 2017. For my part, I know I'm excited about getting more involved in the community here in Las Vegas, and I want to get to know a lot more entrepreneurs and small business people in the community. So now that you've got your list of things you want to do in 2017, I have one more extra credit piece of the challenge for you. I know a lot of people like to make New Year's resolutions this time of year because it's easy to get excited about starting something new right after the first of the year. But here's the extra piece of the challenge for you. I don't want you to wait. I want you to pick one thing off your list that you want to get done in 2017. Pick one thing and write down three action steps you can do today to get yourself started on it. It's great to have New Year's resolutions, but it's even better if there's something we really want to get done to take action today. Don't put it off till the first of the year. If it's really important to you, three action steps that you're going to get done today. 2016 has been a great year so far and the last month is going to be even better. December is a great time for us to take some downtime with our family and enjoy the holidays no matter what holidays you celebrate. Looking back at the year and looking at the things we've achieved and the lessons we've learned is a great way to get us prepped to do all the things we want to do in 2017. But don't wait to start all those things in 2017. Pick one thing and start it today. You'll be glad you did. If you found this helpful, please share it with a friend or coworker. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn, and click off on that globe to the right. That'll get you subscribed to our email list, and that'll bring you all of our content direct to your inbox. If you have any business or leadership questions, reach out to us on social media or email us at info at evilgeniusleadership.com. I want to thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. And remember, the future is out there. Lead the way.